Well, we've officially been on our first trip in our new van, even if it was cut a little bit short. There's damp in the house. It's not just a bit of damp. As in more than there was by the fireplace. As in since we've been away, there's a lot of damp in the house. I can't quite believe that the conversion is over. We had so much fun turning it into a little house on wheels, but it does also mean that we get to travel the country and make memories that are going to last a lifetime. Speaking of memories, emptying the van toilet wasn't my fondest one. Right, now what? Spin the pipe out, twist just, the cap. This is just falling off. That's the bit that's broken. It's broken! I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to fall off. Something's just falling out. Baby man! What's that? A piece of plastic's just falling out! Our toilet's very broken. Ooh, we're gonna need that, so we're gonna need it! I'm not putting my hand in there. I can't find a hand. I wouldn't do that. I'd just buy another bit of the toilet. No. This is the worst job ever. There was a pill! I saw a pill! Got out your tea by me! Disgusting! I've got poo on my shoe! <laughs> well, I did tell you not to do any number twos in there. Well, what's the point in having a toilet if I can't use it? I'm the one that empties it anyway. That, yeah, that you've got a point there. But there were other skills that we had to learn along the way, like uh, how to fill up the fresh water tank so we can do things like wash the pots, brush our teeth, wash your face. Then we've got to empty the water tank. None of these things were really hard, but I guess they, they're quite tedious because you've got to be wary of how much water you're using and how much weight you're carrying. Have we got that much waste and no actual drinking water? Well, I've washed my face a couple That's of times. That's been going for at least two minutes now. But if I had to say one of my favourite parts of van life, it's closing the doors, getting into my little cockpit, sitting back and driving to the next destination. You liar! Why am I... You complained the whole time, told me that we're not going on another trip unless I learn to drive because you had to do all the driving, but I told you to get an automatic because when I learn to drive, I'm going to get an automatic. So I'm not going to be able to drive this regardless. It's not that easy. Turning an automatic into a camper comes with its own problems by itself because it's really heavy. But also to buy an automatic Sprinter, which is the specific van that we wanted, it isn't that easy. We tried. Just learn manual like everyone else in the world. No, I can't because I have to look down at the gear stick. So it's does everyone. <laughs> so after our halfway stop in Gloucester, we made our way over to Cornwall, but we didn't quite like it there. So with, with van life, Liana was envisioning you know waking up opening the back doors with your coffee onto a nice beautiful scenic sea view shall, in cornwall shall, shall, I, shall i show them our view here do you want to see the view just picture a nice morning crisp sunlight this is it that's not bad i mean if you squint your eyes and look at that blue tent it kind of looks like the sea not quite the uh, van life view you, you were no. hoping for no just to add to the uh, this whole situation 30 pounds each he yeah, charged us everywhere around here is about 80 18 pounds yeah he kind of just pulled a figure out of his head and he was going to charge for cozy he almost charged for cozy as well which would have been ridiculous but 30 pounds each 60 pounds he just had offers we've been here five minutes we're already looking for another place to stay Availability, oh, yeah. um, it's all about this evening, yeah. really. She's leaving a message after the tone. Many thanks. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Do you reckon I'll get back to you? They did actually get back to my mum's voicemail and text her and said that they had availability for both of us to park next to each other, so we left without hesitation. Hello. <laughs> Big morning cuddle. What about daddy's cuddle? Big snuggle for dad? <laughs> We've been to York, we've been to Gloucester, we absolutely loved it in Gloucester and today we went 
Yesterday we went to Cornwall, we went to the opposite side of Cornwall. We then decided late last night that we, like, we don't like it here. Something fell off, we didn't feel safe there, so we made an hour trip to the other side of Cornwall. And we are, do we even know where we are? We're in Cornwall! Yeah, well, I don't know we're in Cornwall, we're in Cornwall. Somewhere that's very beautiful. It is so beautiful. And we were saying, because obviously having a baby, we get a bit scared to just, I know a lot of people just park on the side of the road and just sleep up for the night. But I don't think we're at that point yet. <laughs> it's still obviously first trip, it's a little bit, a little bit twitchy. So basically we were, <laughs> we were looking for a campsite that did, pardon me that didn't look like a campsite. Here you go, baby boy. That's not my tractor. So that we could have the van life experience, the views outside the door, but also be safe or feel safe. Be like enclosed behind the gate. I think we've nailed it. <laughs> To the beach. We were told that we probably shouldn't take the bush chair. I can understand why now. If a car comes, I don't know where it's gonna go. We're definitely going the right way. What's that feel like? Cozy, what's that feel like? Whoa! Watch the little Rockies. bottom of tent with one foot while two hands hold the top firmly. Oh, just to fold it back up? Yeah, we'll deal with that in a sec. We were pre-warned about these shower tents by Dave. Apparently he just leaves it to Helen to deal with. Yeah, can we not do that? We can't just rock up to Helen's and say, hi Helen, here's our shower tent, put it in the bag please. Maybe we'll just bring Helen in the van. But Liana decided to do it anyway and not even think about how she's going to get a wet shower tent back in the bag. Listen, what's the point in having a shower in the van? if we're not going to use it. <laughs> Happy birthday. Is there a hook? I'm in. Hello? Is this how it works? <gasps> it's cold. It's cold! All I taste is salt. We even managed to give Cozy a little wash. It was then time to retire for the evening and kick back in our new camping chairs. Oh, you have to build it. What? <laughs> What's that? Why would it not come as a ready-made chair? Pardon? <laughs> you do buy some concoctions. Where's that? Yeah, she's got to give it, yeah. It's cold, it's, it's cold. I couldn't find me jump. More to the point, what are you doing? I'm putting my chair up. What do you mean? This isn't camping. Glamping. You can sleep in What is the need? What is that? It's comfy, isn't it? That's, that, is, that, that is fantastic. <laughs> I think I'll nail this. Yep. Right, come on, Carl. 
Go on then. Go on then what? You're going to tell me it needed a man's touch. I'd never downplay the effort that you put in, but what I will say is it did take Carl to get the job done. I mean, specifically male, I don't think I would have been able to do it, so it, it, it took a Carl. A bit like a Dave. It takes a, it takes a Dave sometimes. Well, no, because Dave said it takes a Helen. Oh, Dave did say it. It. <laughs> Listen, I'm stumped. If I'd have had another five minutes, I probably still wouldn't have been able to do it. No, 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 probably not. So it's now bedtime. Luckily, because we have got Floyd, we cook our dinner over there. We put Cozy down and then we eat our dinner, which is fabulous. But obviously when we're by ourselves, we'll have to eat before baby goes down. Um, and this is the aftermath of a day. It's a lot, lot of mess that you have to deal with. But we're used to that anyway. Come on, bedtime boy! Are you ready for Betty Fabos? There's a worm at the bottom of the garden and his name is Wiggly Woo! Night night, Dada! Night night, Cozy! I love you! I'm going in for the night night kiss! Night night cozy. I love you. <laughs> night night. Cute boy. I think we've decided the weather here is awful now, today. We're gonna try and find the next patch of blue sky, which isn't looking promising. Connor, on the other hand, is attempting to make crumpets in a pan. What's wrong with that? Listen, we we didn't have a toaster. When you've not got a toaster, this is the way forwards. It's looking like everywhere within like a three hour radius is raining. It really is a shambles. I'm actually not sure how this is going to go. You making a coffee? Oh, thank you very much. What is it? What's that? What's going on? Oh, using the toaster. Where did you get a toaster from? Floyd has got a toaster. Well, now my crumpets just look sad. I'd say that's proper van life. That is cheating. It's glamping. Oh, look at them. I think that one's actually on fire. What? <laughs> After a lovely morning and a crumpet for breakfast, my parents decided to leave us, which left us fending for ourselves. Now, we could have stayed where we were, but the weather turned to be atrocious, so we decided to do a bit more blue sky chasing, which is hard to do when, in fact, 90% of the country is raining. So we ended up pretty much where we began in Gloucestershire and although the aspect of traveling in a van is so much easier mama than being in a car because obviously you've got your little house at the back we do have to kind of plan out our routes now to make sure that there's a halfway point because we never want little man in the car seat longer than a couple of hours at a time which is kind of why we decided not to do the NC500 for our first ever trip right well we've got two hours nine minutes to go back on the road again yeah and we've driven right into the rain and the traffic <laughs> this is the true uh van life uk scenario just yeah when you, it's so funny because everyone who that we've watched do van life are from canada well, america not, not uk here. not uk there was so much traffic we've decided to pull over because you were getting hungry anyway, weren't you? And Daddy's gone to get me a Starbucks. But he gets to stretch his legs. I think we've got an hour left. We've only got an hour left. Not long. So you stretch your leggy. Do you want mommy to get you some juice? I've just cooked him a salmon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope the traffic's gone when we get back. <laughs> and the van's an absolute shambles again. And Cozy splashed his yoghurt everywhere. So it's all over his, uh, his car seat. It also went on this seat. I've tried to clean it, obviously I can't see if it's gone until it's dropped. What's that? What's that? Password! Password! Oh no, no, no! You've got the goods! I'm the one with the food, you have no leverage. It's been an absolute shambles in here. Why? <laughs> and then Never give him yoghurt again no, when no. he's there. Yeah. Oh, and then he sat on the wet mat that we had on the floor. <laughs> Whilst we're here spending a small fortune, I thought we may as well show you how much it's going to cost us for a tank of fuel. This is after, what? I mean, we filled up multiple times, but we're pretty much empty. So let's see how much it racks up. I've never filled this full before, as in not? from nothing to full. I've not, I've not done it. <laughs> so let's see how much it's going to cost us. Ah, it's still going. We're already at a scary place and it's ah. still going. 
I think. 105. 108. Oh, 103. Oh. 103 pounds. That's disgusting. Yeah. Can't afford this. Can't afford van life. That is ridiculous. <laughs> 10 minutes cozy and then we're there. What a good idea. We had a nicely relaxing night, but then the next morning is when we received a phone call that would end up cutting our trip short. Right. Do you want the good news or the bad news? I want the good news. There is no good news. It's all bad news. I just wanted to kind of bring a bit of positive energy. Well, hold on. The positive energy is we've had a great time in the van. Right. The bad news is Carl's just rang me after feeding the cats and said there's damp in the house. But but it's not just a what? it's not just a bit of damp. As in more than there was by the fireplace. As in since we've been away, there's a lot of damp in the house. We might have to cut this trip short for now. How far are we from home? Two and a half hours, I think. That's not too bad. Wait, does that mean we can't live in the house though? What does that mean? I actually don't know what that means. It just means we need to probably go home and work out what it means. Yeah. So to cut a very long and boring story short, we had damp in the house. We had to come home because it was getting worse. And obviously our cats were here. Our cats were here. I mean, just for general health, we've got baby boy. I've got asthma. I mean, eczema. Eczema. It's, it's just not good for anything if you've got damp in the house. You've got to get it fixed quick. Mold and damp aside, the best part is now we've got this van. So although that trip was cut short, we can literally head off whenever we want. And we've got some great content ideas going forward. So don't think now that the van's converted that we're slowing down because it's not happening. There might even be a little bit more Dave and Helen. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Quickly though, thank you so much for your support over the last few months. Not just with the van and the converting, but everything we've had going on in our lives. You guys are always here for us and it's really shown you have no idea how much of a positive impact you have on our lives as a collective whether it's just a, a dm to liana about like, motherly advice yeah, motherly advice skin i don't know whenever she reaches out for help you guys are always there which it, honestly is it blows my mind that we've created such an <laughs> what is it it's a bee is it? oh tell. my gosh no, you're such a scaredy bum. It's a bee. Oh, okay, Mr. Scared of Spiders. Yeah, but you can't be scared of bees. Well, I couldn't. I thought it was a wasp. I can't believe how much of a caring, amazing community we've actually built together. So, yeah, I, I guess the soppy cliche, oh, we're so appreciative. I, no, you have no well, idea yeah. how appreciative we actually are. Especially I can't... as someone who doesn't have any friends. It's somewhere for me to vent. And thank you for taking time out of your day to actually watch the content that we put together. Because without you doing that, we wouldn't we wouldn't be here doing this. And that being said, we will see you for our next adventure. Oh, are you excited? Dance, 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 dance. Return to sender. Dance, dance. Address unknown. Yeah, yeah. Dance, dance. No such. No such. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>